YouTube, you see what we got going on, man. I just finished up a super clean fade on my guy Demarie with the enhanced lineup. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So let's get to it. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna come in with my clipper closed at the top of his arch and then follow that straight back. And the reason I'm coming in with my clipper closed first is because it's gonna make it a lot easier to get rid of that first guideline. And I also want to apologize if I sound super nasally, it's because I'm congested. But you know I still have to get this video out to you guys. Now right under that, I'm gonna come in with my trimmer to ball the rest of it out. And these are my snap snap FX's, they're zero gapped as well. And then we're gonna follow it up with the shaver to get it nice and close to the skin. And now to get into the blend, I'm coming in with that lever open on my clipper, going up about a finger's width here. I wanna make sure that I'm giving myself enough room when I'm blending to really make this, you know, blend stretched out and give it that blurry effect. And now for the line in the middle, I'm gonna come in closed with my lever and I open it up little by little as I move up in this guideline. Now for the next step, I'm gonna come in with my one guard and I know right here I opened up the lever, but I'm actually attacking the line with the lever closed first because his hair is so short and then I'll open it up at the top of this guideline. So I'm close, tapping at it a little bit, just to make sure I'm really cutting the hair and now I'm lever all the way open and that's where I'll go up that fingers with. So now I'm going to grab my two guard with that lever open and this will be the biggest guard we are going to use. This would pretty much blend into that length on top. So I'm just coming off the shape of his head here. And now to really blend into that length on top, I'm going to do some clipper over comb. So I'm just coming in with that comb and flaring out slightly and then I'm going to get rid of anything with my clipper here. And my lever is all the way open when I'm doing this. So now to get rid of that last line, I'm going to use my half guard with the lever open. And then I'll close that little by little. And as you can see, these snap FX's do a really good job with fading. Their premium guards are definitely better than their, you know, normal plastic guards. So you'll see me use a lot of the corner of that blade to make sure I don't take the uh, fade up too high. But so far it's coming together pretty nice. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the other side. And just like the side we already did, I'm just balding out under that clipper closed with my trimmer. Now to take it even closer, I have my shaver here. Now right above that, we're gonna have our one guard lever open. Again, a finger's width. Staying real clean, real consistent here. And on this side, I'm really gonna let you guys just follow along since I already explained his left side. But fam, recently I just took a trip down to Dallas. I just got back yesterday. And I met up with the Barber Plug, man. If you haven't heard of the Barber Plug, it is a barber supply company that has all the latest and greatest stuff. So if you need any equipment, make sure you head over to barberplug.com and they will get you right, all right? But we recorded some really good content 
um then I'm, I'm excited for you guys to see so the next video after this one should be the vlog you know that i made while i was out there but then you'll see in that vlog we recorded something that will be dropping sometime this year and it's gonna be fire man so be on the lookout i had a great time and like i said it is barberplug.com get all your tools there all right so now we're still coming in with our one guard then our two guard open which i said was the biggest guard we are using and I don't know if you guys can notice towards the top of his fade there. He has a naturally very light spot in that parietal ridge area. So we're going to try our best to get that as blended as possible. And man, I sound really trash. So if it's hard to listen to, I apologize. But hopefully it's helping you still. So now we're at our last guard, which is our half guard open. And then we'll close that little by little as needed. This side is a little more challenging to fade, so I'll spend a little more detail here than I did on the other. So in the back is where we're going to connect that left side that we finished and the right side. So this is a very important part of the haircut because it's what everyone else sees, right? Usually when a client gets a haircut, all they really look at is the sides and the front. But what everybody else sees when they go to the store or when they go somewhere, you know, is the back of their head. So you want to make sure that the blend is super blurry back there as well. So now we're going to do some clipper over comb on this side. And like I said, I'm going to try my best to blend this area in because of the lighter areas that he has towards the top of his fade. But, you know, we're still going to maintain doing that same process. So we're just hitting it with some clipper over comb, trying to get it blurry as possible. And it's coming together nicely, man. So now we're going to get into the lineup. And for the lineup, I'm going to grab my one guard with the lever all the way open. And we're just going to lower those front hairs slightly. Still maintaining, you know, darkness so it blends in with the top. And we're going to line them up. So we're going to start in the middle. And in this scenario, I move towards his left. And I'm trying to get it as symmetrical as I can without, you know, pushing it back too much. So we're just working into the left corner, staying real patient here, not trying to rush it. Or create any mistakes now we're gonna clean up his box and so far so good man it's coming together nicely now we're gonna move towards his right and do the same thing and there is a birthmark on the side of his head if you guys were wondering but we are going to enhance his lineup with my airbrush this is a kiss express and alcohol mix and I'm just spraying it on lightly and then adding more if I need to darken it up As you can see, it just adds a little extra crispiness. And I usually don't use a white pencil, but in this case, I wanted to show you guys how to use it. So I have my 245, you know, barber pencil. And I'm using the edge of that pencil. I'm not using the point. And I'm just following along the hairline, not trying to touch the hair. And I'm going to blend it in with my trimmer first to try to smooth everything out. And then I'm going to follow it up with my razor, and you'll see exactly what it does. A lot of people, you know, hate on the white pencil because they're like, ah, you know, guys shouldn't do this. It's like makeup. But it's really just adding contrast to the hairline um, because what it is is an artificial ash line, right? So now I'm going to come in with my razor and I'm stretching the skin in the opposite direction of which I'm using it. And I'm just trying my best to blend in, you know, that white pencil. And it gives that hairline that HD glowing effect. I think if you do the white pencil well, it's not a bad look, but, you know, most people do a really bad job, and that's why it gets a bad rap. And now I'm going to finish it off with my, you know, sponge racket, so go ahead and twist up the top a little bit. But fam, this is a cut, a nice mid fade, mid to high fade with an enhanced lineup, 
And if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this cut. But like always, I will catch you guys next time. Peace.